Guys, this is the VBAC in channel, and since I didn't make the model car reviews for uh, such a long time, I decided to make a couple today. And the first car we're going to be checking out today is this little fella, which you could probably recognize. Um, this was my number one most wanted in the uh, model car diecast list for 2015, and I bought this car for $46, which is quite cheap. Um, so yeah, I got the mo car I wanted the most, just in a few months. And I was very impressed with the quality, so we're going to be checking it out right now. Um, I got it a few days ago, about a week. No, not even a week, I don't know, it's four or five days. So I still have the box. Um, it's something like this, it's a closed box. Hold on, let me just move the car. It's a closed box, it's a Bentley manufactured in China under license. They seem to um, take the li license thing very, very seriously. They really take it seriously. And for some reason, um, it's written in Chinese. Although I learned Chinese, I really can't understand what the heck they're saying. Um, this is a Rastar car, as you can see right here. And under it has some things like these. Um, I didn't really expect on a closed box. I was expecting an open one, but I was impressed from the beginning with the box. And also, the car came with this little open tool, which you can see, it kind of looks like a key. But it is used to open the um, diecast car doors and hoods, so you can tell it's a pretty interesting thing that uh, such a cheap diecast car has this kind of thing in it. So let's go ahead and check out the actual car. So here it is, and one thing I like to really point out is that the car is really, really big. Um, it's a really, really big car. Like, I keep all of my models in the shelf, you can see right next to me. Um, but this car won't even fit in the shelf, it's actually really, really big. Um, for example, if we take the, um, this is a uh, knife, you know how long these knives are. And if we take it like that, and put it up to the car, you can see how long it is. It's a very, very long car, so... If you're thinking of buying this car, you have to be you have to be aware that this car is very very large and might not fit your um where you keep your diecast cars. So let's go ahead and check this car out from the the front of course. So here it is, the um Bentley Museum's front. Um this is a raster car and it's in my opinion, it's very, very well made. I mean, Rastar is um, just a beginner in the um, diecast car market, and obviously they needed something to inspire the um, consumers. So I guess they really did put a lot of effort into making this car. Um, if we take a look at the headlights, which is right here, you can see that there are no pegs. It's really, really clear. Rastar did a really nice job in it, as you can see. It gets blurry. Um, and the grills, um, they're made in through chrome. Although this chrome is very, very flashy and it can be um, worn off easily, it's very, very nice that they made it through. And of course the logo, I always insist that the plate is always the best. And if you can get it, it gets blurry. Um, it is a plate, you can see. It's like popped out. And that's the Bentley, the B and the wing, printed very, very nicely. Um... And down here, the grills, it's, uh, you can see it's also made in through, so the front has a really nice detail, although the back is even better. And to open the hood, there's a little button on the back, you can push it, and then this will come up. And then you take your little open tool, put it in the cave inside the car, it's, uh, and you can open the hood which is quite nice. And if we take a look at the engine, um, it's a little bit dark, but you can see it's very nice. It's not it's not made in just one piece. If you can get the car over here, it's uh, 
can see there's a piece right here and another piece inside. Although it is simple, they did a really nice job of making it, as you can see. Um, and also, uh, there's the um, the soundproof thingy on the um, back end of the hood, which is quite nice because you couldn't really expect that much of a detail on most cheap diecast cars. So the front was obviously very satisfying for me, and the six the car to the side. Um, and it looks something like this. Now there are two things that you might notice that are quite disappointing. And first is the um, rims. Um, after all, our Rastar is an RC car making company, and since this is one of their first diecast cars, um, the rims were quite disappointing. I mean, if we take it closer, it looks exactly like an RC car. It doesn't look like a diecast car. It's really, really disappointing. But hmm, all the other things were better, so. I don't know what to say. And um, you can see there's a the door can't close properly. You can see the little gaps between the doors. Um, and most people think that's a huge problem, but to me, since it's black, you can't really tell well. And I guess it's okay. I mean, if you buy it in champagne, that might be a problem. But I think black, uh, it's okay. Um, we have these chrome moldings down here, and the um, chrome door handles which is very very nice but when you use the open tool to open the doors make sure you don't use the actual door handle because you can just take it off which can be uh, quite a big problem and I must admit the paint job is really really glossy I mean it's really really glossy if you can tell it like that it's a really really glossy black paint job um, it shines really much like you rub some wax on it but it's a really shiny car. And, um, like, like I said before, it's a really, really long car, so make sure to make, th make sure of that. And let's open the doors to see the interior. Um, like I said, don't use the door handles when you're using the opening tool because that just causes the damage. Um, since the Bentley Mulsanne has this kind of glass dinghy, although it's made in plastic, on the doors, you can't really open the doors just by putting your hand inside there like most cheap diecast cars this was quite impressive like the um Maystow's SL63 AMG hardtop you usually get that in the expensiver cars not something as cheap as this the back doors are a little bit hard to open and here is the uh, very nice interior of the Bentley Mulsanne and I'll say this is really amazing um, how they did the interior, I mean. So, let's go closer to the inside of the car. And you can see, it's really, really nice. They got this carpet thingy in the, um, not carpet, a little bit cheap looking, but still, carpet tuning in the, um, under parts. And the seats are in a very nice beige color. And this dashboard, black, it's really, really beautiful. It's really, really glossy and nice. All these little dials and all of that on the um, radio and the speed thermometer, it's very, very expressed well. It was very, very impressive. And if you take it to the back, you can see all the um, door trims. Uh, you can see they use chrome on the door trims. And all of that. And the seatbelts, they're also very, very well made. The interior was very satisfying indeed. Um, I could never expect these details in most mainstream cars. So I was very, very impressed indeed with the interior. The interior I would give really, really high points. It was very impressive. And let's take this car to the back. Uh, it's so long. And the, the back detail, in my opinion, is much more better than the front. Uh, it looks something like this. Of course, there are no uh, pegs in the front or the back, but I think the back looks much more nicer, as you can see. We got chrome. Um, moldings and the um, Bentley logo printed in plate, of course. And if you take it a little bit more down, you can see the chrome mufflers. Now, another thing to be careful in the back is that when you're using the uh, opening tool to um, open the car's trunk, you need to be careful because you might put the um, opening tool right here, but don't because you just rip off the chrome moldings. Instead, you need to um, put it down here to be. Um, not break, not break it, I mean. And then we'll have to um, open the trunk. 
Um, the trunk is a bit hard to open. It's really, really stiff. So hold on. The trunk is really, really hard to open, but don't force it. Just use the opening tool to slightly open it. Make sure you don't put it under there. And when you open, when you open it slightly, just open it with your hand. Um, of course, the trunk has carpet tuning too. Uh, as you can see right there, it's very, very nice detailed. Yeah, like that. It's really, really cozy and big. Um, so that's the back. Very nicely detailed. Um, this Bentley used a lot of chrome on the diecast car, but I personally think, although they are a bit flashy looking, they did a really nice finishing, so it doesn't really matter. It looks really, really nice. Um, and let's take the car to the bottom. And it looks something like this. This raster right here, and the uh, names right down here. It's a bit simple, but really nice, you can see. Although they didn't use much chrome, like the Maisto cars. So, this was my most wanted vehicle for 2015. Um, I'm very happy to present this car so earlier on in the year. Um, I see this review has been pretty long, probably my longest one. Um, it's probably because this car has so much to talk about. Um, and I really suggest this car, whether you're only collecting supercars, because for the price, I bought it for $46. It has really, really nice quality and beautiful finishings, and there's no reason to not buy this car. So make sure to check this car out, and of course, I shall make a couple of more cars today, so be sure to check that out either. And thank you guys so much for watching with patience, and it is such a long video, and I shall see you in the next video, so peace out.